Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this is my first time on this new uh, screen sharing program, so hopefully it works out good. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. I'm just going to double check on my phone here. Uh, today's going to be really powerful. We're going to be talking about um, how to set up a powerful Facebook group for your business. And I'm actually going to be setting one up for uh, our client Smiley today. So what I'm going to do is just start from the very beginning, start setting it up, and then teach you guys as we go, you know, why it's so important to have that Facebook group and build a community around uh, your clients and any clients coming in. So uh, first, what we're going to do is top right arrow. I'm just going to start from the very beginning. We're going to go to new groups. Now, when it comes to a new group, um, just think of a good name. We've already come up with a, a good name and a reason that we want to create the group for Smiley. So when you're building that group, it's about building a community. Um, since you, either you meet with them face to face and then you put them in the group so they can stay up to date. It's much more likely that they're going to interact with the Facebook group than they are um, going to, you know, emails or even sometimes text messages. All right. So Smiley's VIP group. These are people that are um, going to be part of his new group. He's going to be doing online training with them. And so let's see if we can add me in there. So we want to once it's created, it's totally fine. You can go in and uh, add people once it's created. And then I always suggest, you know, give them a personal note. Um, let's make it public. Telling them what the group's about and what you're going to be sharing in there. Remember, when it comes to the group, it's about the clients. It's not about you. So share client success stories, um, different things that are working with your clients, um, testimonials, reviews. Make it all about them, and that's when you're going to really see good results. All right, let's see if we can find myself in here. Let's try. And if you guys can hear me okay, just give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Um, that way I know the audio is working. All right, I'm going to create it here. Um, so some other things. We want to create a nice headline. We want to make it uh, public so people can easily join. Um, I always want to approve people. Maybe you can ask them um, if they're part of your business or not. Just make it easy for them to jump in. Yes or no uh, answer. So let's up upload a quick video, a photo. And this photo, you know, you want that to be all about your business and uh, so people recognize you. So Smiley, we're going to set up a photo of him and his clients here. Um, just like this. Let's drag it. Perfect. And remember, it's not about you. It's about your clients. So if you can get a community um, in your Facebook group of people that are interacting, uh, sharing their stories about working with you, going back and forth, helping each other. Um, this is that strong community that's really going to keep people coming back. And then most important, get new clients into your business because they're going to see that uh, you're working with you know numerous people, that they're seeing good results uh, from there. All right, guys. All right, I'm getting thumbs up. I appreciate it. So I guess this is working pretty good. That's awesome. All right, so next thing we want to do, so they're going to see the photo first, right? They're going to see it's Smiley's VIP group. And that's what I like to have this as a VIP group, a special place for anyone that's a potential client or a current client to be. Um, and it's all about them. Make it all about them. So we want to go in. We want to edit the group settings next after we've done the photo. Just like this, you can pick, uh, pick a group type. And let's look for a, like a community. I like to do a team. So it's your team. So have all your team members in this group. Um, this group see how this works is for our awesome members and make that I would say two or three paragraphs long explain that what the groups for it's about building a community helping them almost like a support channel for them and then what they can do tell them what they can do in the group they can share their stories uh, they can interact with other members they can ask questions um, so that would be paragraph two and three so this group is for our awesome members. Uh, please share your testimonials and stories. And then um, ask questions. Um, and we will or our members will help you with those. All right. So those are really good. So structure it like that. Three paragraphs long just like that. All right, you don't need a location because you want this group to be worldwide. You want people in that group, um, whether they're local or not. If you have a local business, obviously the more local people, the better. But um, just build up that group because people, if you ever want them to work with you online, uh, they can do that. Um, add some tags, fitness. 
Uh, usually you have to make up your own, so things like this that you think people might be searching for. These are not very important. Um, choose a color, you know, based on your brand. It's really tough to get that exact color, uh, but let's just make it blue for today. And remember, this is all things people are going to be seeing before they actually join your group. And that's your goal. Get all these people to jump in, join the group with you, um, and stay connected. Um, privacy settings, you want it to be a public group. Uh, membership, anyone in the group can approve. Let's see here. So we do want to do ask questions. I would say just ask one question uh, for people to join. So are you a member of our business? Basically, all they have to do is say yes or no. Um, you know, ours, admins can approve. So ours is um, name your business. So everyone, before they join our trusted business owners group, they just name the business. That way I know they have a legitimate business and it's just not somebody coming in trying to spam. So at least have one question there. I would say up to three, have one or three, but that's kind of just to keep the spammers out um, and have those three questions based around your business. Um, are you looking to lose weight? Um, are you looking to get healthy? Are you looking to feel better? Um, you know, things like that. All right. So usually I like to keep it open so people can actually post um, in the group. Keep that open if you need to go in and delete people. That's what those three questions are for at the beginning to keep out the spammers. So if you do that right, then you can just allow people to keep posting in the group. All right. Post approval. Nope. We don't need that. So we're going to save it there. And what's cool is I'm a member of a couple groups that have, you know, six to 7,000 members in it. And my mentor hosts this Facebook group, and he's got almost 7,000 people in here. Um, I would say 90% are not working with him. 10% are. So when the 10% are successful and they see great results, they post that in the group. So then the 90% that haven't signed up with him yet, they're seeing that. Um, it's building trust with him, and they're much more likely to stay in the group, interact, ask questions. And then when they're ready to sign up, they're going to sign up with him because he's the authority in that group. So I really want you guys to set up that, that group just like that for yourself. That way you become the authority and you have this, um, this group for people to just join, get to know you, and when they're ready, they'll, they'll reach out. All right. If anyone has any questions about the Facebook group, make sure you post them in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Um, the next thing I want to go over is once you have the group set up, right, you have your image. And just to show you guys, you'll want to go to edit group settings, and that's where you'll go make all those changes. Um, so put that in there and then you want to start inviting people. So I know people get annoyed when you just do mass invites. So what I like to do is I like to grab this URL at the top and just um, share it in all of our emails and Facebook messages. And that's at the end of all my videos. I say the best place for you to get started is join our Facebook group and then just include that link everywhere. So it's something free people can join. You don't have to worry about emailing them all the time. They're you're not going to get lost in the spam folder. They're being part of your community, which is key. All right. Another thing I want to go over is editing this URL here because you want that URL to be your group. So facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash VIP group. Let's see. Moderate. I don't think. Okay, here's another thing, link your uh, business page. So you can link your business page here. So that way they can see where your business page is and you can just link it. So I'm gonna link Smiley's page for them. All right, perfect. So they can see that you're posting from that page. And then the web address, this is where you'll edit the, the group name. So we have facebook.com forward slash groups. And then let's go a Smiley, or let's go Smiley's. VIP group. Let's see if we can do a dash in between. And does anyone here uh, watching, if you guys have a group, uh, make sure you put it in the comments. Uh, that way we can go ahead and follow and join your group also and see what you're doing in there. I don't see Smiley in here, so he'll be surprised to know that his Facebook group's all set up for him. All right, so we have his business pages connected and then his new Facebook group. So this would be that link that you're going to be connecting in all the social media channels. Let me shut this off. All right, and just make sure to hit save there. Cool. Another thing I wanna go over with you guys is once your Facebook group's set up, make sure you send it to me. I'll give you some feedback on it, let you know any changes that I think you should make. 
All right, so you can do an embed invite. So this is where you can invite people um, from emails and social media channels. Um, and then another thing you should do about on a weekly basis, you can write a new post that welcomes new members. So he has two new members. So what you'll do is you'll write the post here and it'll say, let's welcome our new members and it'll automatically put those members in there. Um, I like to customize this. So thanks for joining. Introduce yourself below. So the goal is to get them to engage and comment. So always ask them to introduce themselves and to comment and leave their message. So let's post that. And you can do this on a weekly or monthly basis uh, based on how many members are actually joining. You can also come over here on the right and just start inviting people. I don't really recommend doing that. You can do it um, when your group's first made, but don't continue doing it. Um, try to get maybe 100 people in there, your closest friends, people you know will want to be in your group, and then make it natural by including the link in your emails and your social media posts. All right, we have that. Now, another cool thing to do when you're in here is to start polls. So remember, it's all about your clients, seeing what they want and helping them as much as you can. So whether it's posting a testimonial or congratulating a customer or talking about a success story, um, write that in your, in your group and make sure you're linking them and really getting them engaged also. And the polls are really cool because now you're getting feedback. So um, it's something people like to engage with. All they have to do is check off a button and um, it's also building up the credibility in your group. So what are your health goals? this year. So this would be something, you know, perfect for him. He's helping them with their health and fitness. So um, lose weight, eat better, or work out more. And so we'll just post it just like that. And then people can even add their own if they have different goals. They can go in and just add their own. So here it is here. And then all they have to do is click on it. So super easy to create that poll and just helps engage people, um, keep them engaged in the group. All right, so if you guys have any questions about the group, make sure you let me know. A um, Couple things, make sure you make it so it's public so people can find it. Add a nice image, uh, put the description in there uh, with those three bullet points we talked about. This group's for our awesome, awesome members. Post your testimonials and stories and ask questions. Tell them what they can expect in the group. And then um, when they go to join the group, just make sure you ask them one to three questions. Uh, so that way you know it's a legitimate person and not just a spammer coming into the group. And so you'll get, you're gonna do that right down here. Ask questions, you're gonna go ahead and ask the questions for them when they come in. And then last but not least, make it all about the client. Post polls, uh, reviews, and testimonials. And then once you have that engaging community, you will get a Facebook group, just like ours, where we have almost, let's see how many people we have. Almost 3,000 members in our group. Um, about Only about 10% of those members are our customers. And the other 90% see that we're helping people on a consistent basis. So we're always helping them. And when our members are successful and something good happens, uh, when they're working with us, they'll come to our group and they'll post about it. So you want the exact same thing happening for your business. Build up your members, doesn't matter if they're current, past, or new customers, put them in there, build up credibility, and then when they're ready to work with you, they're gonna reach out to you because they see that you have successful members already. All right guys, well thanks again for watching, I appreciate it. Um, and leave a comment below with your Facebook group and I'll make sure to check it out and give you some feedback. Hope you guys have a great day.